Well, what is going on guys? It is Friday. Wow, this, can I just say, am I the only one that thinks that this month is just, I mean, it's already the 20th of January, 20th. Whew, let's just slow down a little bit. Thank you for joining on another fabulous episode of the Luxurious Lounge. Friday evening, it's late here. It's like 6.20 p.m. Whew. First rule of business, decided to go with the DP uh, sponsored by, no, <laughs> I always say that. Maybe one day somebody will sponsor the lounge with cold beverages. That would be cool. Anyway, Dr. Pepper Cherry, because I got a little gift package that was sent to me. A little means a lot. I mean, look at this. Just wanna say thank you to uh, Jim's Tobacco. Jim's Dominican. I've been buying Jim's probably for uh, two years now, year and a half. I have, man, I should have brought all my boxes. I, I think I probably have just here at the shop like 10 boxes of all kinds of different flavors. These, um, I have to honestly say, probably my go-to kind of everyday um, sticks. You know, I have my my premium ones. You know that I've discovered that I that those are kind of like super special, but these are just like. You want something, you know it's gonna be good, delicious, great room note, um, good flavor. It's not gonna bite you, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kick your ass. Oh, I should probably beep. It's not gonna kick your... <laughs> Jim's Dominican. And they were uh, nice enough to send me some, some samples here. Well, not samples, but like full size. So they sent me the, um, my favorites, obviously. These are the honey rum and the honey berry. And these, I've never tried these before, so these are new to me. Um, these ones say Robusto Sumatra. This is a five by 50 and Robusto uh, Maduro five by 50. These I know are delicious. So I'm gonna get crazy and Try one of these live. So this is Zodian. I'm probably butchering that name. So Zodian, Zodian, Z-O-I-D-I-A-N. I'm gonna put a link to their website down in the description uh, comments, description section below, as well as their Instagram handle. All right, let's see. Hmm. Very light. <sighs> Smells good. It doesn't have, I know it sounds kind of weird because it's, a, it's cigars, but some cigars, I can tell right away if I'm not gonna like them, if they smell like a cigarette, if, if that makes sense. And this doesn't have that cigarette-y smell, the wrapper at least. Let's, uh, let's try the, um, leaf taste. Hmm, kind of neutral really. My handy dandy V cutter 1000. And my flat flame lighter. Love this thing. I can't remember where I got it. I think eBay or something like that. Uh, I had seen Jeremy um, using one of these and I was like, ooh, flat flame lighter. It's made by X car. Pretty sweet, flat flame. All right, here we go.
super like silky light I don't know if it's because I haven't drinking anything really much today but it just has a really light mouthfeel doesn't burn mm, I like it so I'm almost getting a uh, almost like a toast I don't think there's cinnamon in this I don't know it's like a cinnamony toast a little bit maybe it's me <laughs> all right go ahead and open this bad boy up so we can get on down to another freaking mystery box package that came from Pete, one of my customers. Haven't opened it up yet. Uh, Pete reached out to me and he wanted to send me some stuff and I kind of have an idea of what it is, but I wanted to open it up here on the lounge. A little different, some show and tell. Instead of just listening to me babble on about what I'm releasing on Sunday. By the way, you may notice something right here. We released the Misfit Bastard profile, um, not last Sunday, but the weekend before. Sold out probably within the lat within it was like three hours. So I had to make more, put that on. And then the oil just about sold out again. So I had to make more oil and put that on. So there is still, I think we're, as of right now, there's still oil, butter, and bomb left in stock, which is good because I'm going to be releasing the Misfit Bastard in the Beard and Body Wash profile. This is going to be coming out uh, Sunday, you know, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And uh, absolutely amazing profile. The feedback has been off the charts. Lots of compliments. I've had customers tell me that they are getting lots of compliments from people more than normal, you know. I guess with my profiles as um, strong as they are, you know, a lot of people do get comments, but for some reason on this one, uh, more than usual. And obviously I'll put down in the comment section below the link to these. Probably gonna take this one home. But such a great profile. But that little hint of smoke, it's like fresh and dark at the same time. It's almost like a slightly cologne vibe. I mean, you guys comment down below if you've gotten the Misfit and what you think of it. And if you're pumped about getting the beard and body wash. I think I'm gonna try to rotate these obviously. Um, once they're sold out, then I'll do a new, another profile. I have been getting a lot of requests on the 1886. So maybe after this one, I'll do an 1886 and then I'll switch it up to uh, something else. I almost want to do a, like a sage, citrus, um, bourbon type, like really fresh, but also have that, you know, that dark contrasting note. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, let me know. Maybe I'll do that after the 1886 profile. With that being said, cheers. Happy Friday to you guys. If you uh, drink them if you got them, smoke them if you got them. Mm. I gotta order more of these too. Cheers. Yep, I like the pear.
interesting. I'm gonna have to look the flavor profile up on this. It's really light. Hmm. A lot of times with the room note too, I can't really tell, you know, as I'm partaking on the stick, but if I leave the room, go, you know, fresh air and then come back, that's when you can really notice the room note. So it'll be interesting to see what it smells like in the lounge after I'm done. Mm. All right. So before we get to this, let's talk about this week and what's coming Sunday. Obviously Misfit Bastard Beard and Body Wash will be on the site Sunday, 12 noon. And this week, a little bit of last week, but mainly this week, I have just been grinding on staples. You know, finally got caught up with all of the orders and all the holiday stuff. And the staples suffered quite a bit. <clears throat> so I think I have just about all of the bombs and butters of all the staples back in stock. I literally just poured Colombian and put it on the site, uh, the Colombian butter and the bomb. I mean, I, I went down the whole line. 1912, Bilberry, Holy Butter and Bomb, um, 1886 Butter and Bomb, Luxurious Butter and Bomb, the Colombian Butter and Bomb. I mean, I was butter and, and bombing the week out, <laughs> pretty much. So good, good for you guys, you know, should have everything in stock. All the samples are in stock. Um, so yeah, I did order all of the ingredients for the unreleased profile. Uh, the one that I don't know if you, if, I think most of you guys that watch this probably grabbed it, but just in case you did not, um, last week and the week prior, I had a oil. So if you placed an order, you bought anything on the site, uh, put the comments free oil in the notes section before you check out. One second. You got a free bottle of an unreleased prototype. Um, needless to say, feedback on that was absolutely crazy good. So. I ordered all the ingredients uh, yesterday, so I'm hoping those will start rolling in mid next week, which means boom. Gonna have to figure out the name for it, which if you, if you guys head over to my Instagram, look for the post about that and put down some names. Um, you know, if you've, if you've gotten it, put down some name ideas in there and I'm gonna choose one and when I do, obviously you're gonna get a free set of um, whatever it ends up being, the unreleased profile. And maybe one of these too. I've been giving these out. I, I think they're kind of funny. Little movie prop $100 bills. If you want one of these, when you place an order, $100 bill in the notes section before you check out. I'll sign it and I'll throw one in your order. Anyway, sidetracked squirrel. So hopefully next Sunday, we'll, I'll have a name chosen for it. I'll have everything already done and poured. So it will be up next Sunday, 12 noon. Mm. And for those that are asking about the ombre oil that I released. I'm trying to get a good deal on bulk ingredients I need to do that one because it's a little bit expensive. Um, if I can't get the, the price better, I might do just a small run, um, but it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than like my normal line just because of the price of the ingredients. So I don't know what's happening right now, but trying to get stuff again is starting to become a little bit tough. I finally nailed in two on the samples. So I have like 5,000 uh, sample bottles and a new style cap that's gonna go on those. So lock that in. Um, 
There's something else. Oh, the little tins that I need for the solid colognes. Again, I don't know what happened. A boat sank or something, and now I can't get those a good price on those right now. But just bear with me. You know, we'll get it. We'll get it going again. All right. So staples. I should have most of those in stock now. Good to go, and they're actually on the site. Uh, so this is going to be the the thing that I'm going to be releasing on Sunday. Uh, what else? What else do I got for you guys? Um, remember, all orders over $75 get free shipping, and you automatically get a raffle ticket stapled to your order. So make sure to save these. I'm going to be doing the uh, giveaway gonna try to do it at the end of the month but let me look at the calendar so oh man so the end of the month falls on a Tuesday which means we're probably gonna have to do the drawing on February 3rd that way, all the rest of the entries for the month. Yeah, because otherwise, if I did it on the 27th, I mean, there's still, uh, you know, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, so that's not good. We'll go ahead and do that drawing on February 3rd. So make sure to join in live in the lounge February 3rd. Hold on to those raffle tickets because we have some pretty badass prizes. Not a not only the mega giveaway prize, but I have a bunch of sweet runner-up prizes uh, for this, this month's giveaway. Mm. All right, so we talked about this, that, staples, and the other things, and I'm not sure what's happening here. <laughs> oh man. Did you guys hit the like button yet? The thumbs up button? Okay, so I think we talked about everything. Should we open up the box? What's in the box? I gotta put these in my humidor. Again, thank you guys. Thank you for sending me these cigars. I'm out of all of them so this will hold me over until I can order a couple of, of cases because I usually order them in the you know case of I think they're like 40 or 25 something like that it's nice okay so again my awesome customer Pete sent this to me let me make some room here so I can open this up <clears throat> All right. All right, you guys ready? over a little bit here holy crap man all right I know some of you are probably gonna be like meh but if there are any tobacco connoisseurs that watch this channel Wow all right I'm just gonna pull these out so he sent me these are Dunhill what year is this I think these are the original Dunhills too so he sent me 
a bunch of sealed original Dun Dunhill uh, pipe tobaccos. Him and I were talking about uh, tobaccos and just different uh, stuff that we had. And I was mentioning that uh, I had a bunch of Dunhill, the original tins, before I started buying them up before they went out of business. And then I know uh, Peterson now makes, remakes it, but it's nothing like, you know, having the original tins from the original maker. Um, so he was like, hey, I got a bunch that I want to send you. I mean, this is, uh, this is a lot, man. I really appreciate it. This is the Dunhill uh, Durbar. I gotta, I gotta build my rack in the lounge so I can put all my pipes in it and then have another um, shelf for all my tobaccos that are sealed just so I can kind of show that off to you guys. This is freaking awesome. It's like Christmas, man, thank you. So this is the Dunhill 965 mixture. Completely sealed. Dunhill Ye Old Sign, a dark Virginia blend. I don't have very many of these either, so this is freaking awesome. I think I probably only have like maybe four or five of these. Ooh, this is one that I don't have. Peterson St. Patrick's Day Special Blend. Heck yeah. Notice the shamrock, because I am French Irish. Peterson of Dublin, St. Patrick's Day. Man, I'm gonna have to open this up, I think, on St. Patty's Day. A fruity mixture of Virginia's burly, orient and spicy tobaccos, gently pressed and then cut into cubes. Black Cavendish and smooth colored Virginias are subsequently added. The blend is refined with rum and the aromas from mango, uh, what is that? Macarua and vanilla. Whew. Seriously, thank you, man. St. Patty's Day, it's on. We're gonna be firing this pipe or this tobacco up in one of my green pipes that I have. All right, what else we got in here? Man, this is exciting. Wow, this is... Yeah, I don't have one of these either. This is um, Estro Estrica, the Penzance, finished English mottled flake pipe tobacco, entirely made, blended, and aged in British Isles. Whew. Man, I'm gonna have to look this one up too. That's freaking awesome. Love the tin, by the way. It just keeps on giving. Ooh, Dunhill Flake. This is a good one. This one might be open. Yeah. Mm. Dunhill Flake. It's been forever since I've had this one. Mm. Yes, yes. And a lot of, I mean, you can't get these anymore. So if you find them, which you really can't, because I think I bought all the original ones I could find. Look at that. Cigar is still lit after me blabbing on for at least five minutes. Tobacco Company, the 40th anniversary pipe tobacco. 
tobacco for a special occasion. Is this sealed too? Holy hell. Man, this is awesome. 40th anniversary pipe tobacco, superb North Carolina, red Virginia, worthy of a very special occasion. Let's celebrate with this rich, sweet, mellow tobacco in a classic Virginia flake. The kind of beautiful leaf readily available in 1977. Hey, I was born in 76, so that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. A rare treasure in 2017. Ooh, this is, this is old then. 2018 it's sealed for sure I hope it is because it sounds a little bit dry but that might just be the tobacco rolling around in there 40th anniversary and this one Christmas cheer. Oh, this is sweet. I love any, I always try to buy Christmas blends, um, kind of like these, Cornell and Deal. You could only get these too by ordering a pipe uh, during the holidays. So this was Ghosts of Christmas Present and Ghosts of Christmas Future. Very good blends. But another one, 2017. Hmm. It sounds dry, but it, whoa, it's sealed. It looks like it's sealed. Huh. I'll have to open this. Man, I don't really want to open it, but. Hmm. And this one says, get on there. McClellan's Christmas Cheer 2017 hand blended premium pressed Virginia Flake pipe tobaccos. A fine vintage, naturally sweet, and limited quantity. I like limited. So that is sweet, man. Even the tins, I collect um, old tobacco tins and stuff too. So if you got any laying around, let me know. Oh, we got another can of the ye old sealed up made in Denmark all right that was freaking wow man I really appreciate that Pete Ugh. I'm gonna have to uh, send you a little something something I have a couple I don't I'm not sure if you still are into pipes but I have a a couple of brand new old stock uh, pipes that if you're interested I'd love to send you one of those mm. looking forward to this too the st. Patty day blend that just sounds good and I wish I could smell it but I don't want to open it yet and this one too I guess I hit my 30 minute time limit <laughs> it's okay i was just about to wrap it up anyway um but again thank you thank you pete i really appreciate it and thank you gems for sending these out to me and thank you for tuning in on another one of these fantastic friday night luxurious lounge Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, share, even if you don't like share the video, but click on the little thing. I don't know. I heard it works, but anyway, and then, like I said, if you're going to place an order, hundred dollar bill in the notes and free oil, I think I have maybe like six or seven of them left. So the first six or seven people. Free oil, $100 bill. I'll um, add one of those to your order. And with
with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic weekend. We will see you Sunday for the Misfit Drop. And of course, all the other luxurious goodness items that are currently in stock because I was, what did I, what did I say? I was buttering it, butter bombing all this week. Butter bombing. All right, well, have a good weekend. Until next time, get luxurious, my friends. Cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm.